Welcome back to the Possibility Store. I'm your host, Lane, and this week I bring you a pod filled with the mods of r slash fringe EGH. I have mentioned this subreddit and some of the guests before, as two of them are returning. This time we have a discussion about the topic at hand. Fringe is a portion of EGH that sits somewhere between high power casual and CEDH, but I'll let these guys give you their take on it once we get into the game. As always, this channel is brought to you by TCG Player. You can pick up any of the cards you see in this video, and it's a great way to support the show. If you'd like to support more directly, head over to our Patreon, where those who pledge gain access to a multitude of benefits. You can pledge as little as $2 a month to help me keep the lights on. Thanks to those of you who have already become patrons. Want to watch us play live? We're streaming every Saturday over on our Twitch channel. We stream for approximately 3 hours every week and play multiple games. Only one typically makes it to the channel, so don't miss out on the extra content. That said, let's check out the lists. First up is Cryptic on his Boros Alibu list. A full-blown stacks deck, it aims to get the most punishing pieces onto the field as quickly as possible. Cards like Static and Winter Orb really make things difficult for the opposition, but he's packed ways to turn off these effects so they don't affect him. Otherwise, Alibu is a fantastic removal piece, killing off most smaller threats easily. Goblin Engineer is part of a recursion package that brings back removed pieces, and he has a lock with Karn and Mycosynth Lattice, a truly oppressive deck. I'm next on my Kadama and Tago list. This is a deck that aims to put together a combo that is based around bounce lands, as Kodama's triggered effect can enable an infinite loop with Tago also creating rock artifacts and triggering Kodama again. Then we just need an outlet like Reckless Fireweaver to kill the table. Otherwise, there are some Shia lines that can also get there with Quirion Ranger being a key piece. Coming third is Snack on his Ominous Toothy list. A typical manual storm list, it aims to draw cards so Toothy gets big, then flickering him to draw even more cards. Using cards like Pier or Hardened Scales enables more counters to be placed on Toothy, meaning more card draw on the next flicker. His namesake card, Ominous Seas, can really benefit from the card draw, allowing him to make an army of 8-8s. Lastly is Time, running her Bacon Stacks list. This is another true Stacks list, but thankfully she doesn't run quite as oppressive cards as Cryptic. We're looking at more tax effects like the Thorn, and traditional hate bears like Draineth Magistrate. She aims to slow the table just long enough to put together the Heliod Ballista combo, or simply win by beating face with the War Pig. So there you have it. Let's see who is victorious today. All right, take it away. Okay. Draw. I will start again with a uh, Boros Tapland and pass the turn. Let's draw. We will play a Lotus Petal, a Spire Garden, and a Birds of Paradise. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. Prismatic Vista. I think this is the right play, but I kind of hate it. And it's like the niche point of this deck. I'm going to play a Chromox and Prismatic Ominous Seas. Oh no! I know. Oh, no. <laughs> it makes me sad because I want to see I want to see the Krakens get there, and I'm going to play my stuff. But I, that's unfortunately the play. I pass. You're going to crack your Prismatic. I'm going to crack this, and it'll be an island. <laughs> okay. Return. Play a forest. I'm gonna tap a forest. For Utopia Sprawl on said tap forest. And that's my whole turn. Draw. Um, we'll go to 37 for this Avid Mesa into Sacred Foundry. Um, I'll shortcut because I'm going to play Dranith Magistrate. Um, and then once, once I've got the Sacred Foundry, I'll be passing this lane. Draw. Well, I unfortunately have to play this in tapped. Tap for one uh, for green for an Elvish Reclaimer. I will pass the turn. Play Command Tower and pass, unfortunately. Yeah, that ran out hurts. Play a lanes. Play three for a Thalia. And I will pass. Play planes. Play the, a Liquid Bet or Talk. Into a what's it called again? Hanger back walker or X is one. That's really. I'll good. pass the turn. Um, tap and draw. I'm gonna tap for three here for a tunneling geopede. Landfall does one damage to everybody. Hmm. It'll be an honor to die by his land. So. <laughs> Can't it up. P Vista, you all take a damage. Landfall, that, we all that, that comes in tapped. Doesn't. Yep. Oh yeah, sure. Oh. I don't get the. We double. still take the damage. We still yeah. take the damage. Takes the damage, but he doesn't get to crack it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, uh, that'll be turn for me. Thinking. Okay, that'll get me somewhere. Play Rustic. And pass. Uh, I'm going to say four, one thing into your Rustic study. For a prowling server bard. Hey! Go ahead. Yeah. I'll play solving and paying for study. Then I'll play scroll back, paying for study. I'll pass this lane. Yeah. <laughs> Tap and draw. Ancient tomb. Y'all take one. Crack. Prismatic vista. You take another one. You take another one because I'm going to get a forest that won't come in tapped. Yeah, I'll just pass there. Man, I regret not just bottoming the land. <laughs> I can have my ominous seed. Yeah, that's my turn. I can do absolutely nothing. Regular forest. Godzilla. I'll play my own Granite Magistrate. Double down. If nobody can have it, Oof. even me, then nobody double can have it. I'm so hosed. Are you paying the Rhystic? I did pay the Rhystic. Okay, well, I might file for a divorce. Uh, well, <laughs> Harsh. I don't know how that's going to work out too well for you. Did I lose audio? No, no. 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 We just, no. Me and Islay just don't want to get just involved in this in. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and Snack is being quiet <laughs> as a smart boy. <laughs> So, however, did I, I didn't know if you passed or not. <laughs> I did. Yes. Okay. In your end step, I'm going to put a counter on Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress. That's what it says. Mecha anyway, Godzilla. I'm paying three and then adding one to pay for the tax for this Trinosphere. Um, and I'm going to pass. Let's draw two for a Sylvan Library. Trinosphere. Oh, God damn it. You guys, you guys, you're fucking killing me. Alright, I'm still gonna lose it too. Paying for both. I'll pass. Um, at your end step, I'm gonna crack this Mind Stone. Draw a card. You guys are absolutely going to adore the card I drew off of the Mind Stone. It's this Mox Amber. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and I'm gonna play a Soul Ring that I can do nothing with. Yeah. Are you paying three for these? Uh, I am paying three for... <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what? My, I will be paying three. Alright, pass. So it's four total, one for the Rhystic, and three to make it for the Trinosphere. Yeah. I'll try to ca cast an Elodomery's Call to dig my way out of this situation. Tutor away. What the fuck am I grabbing? Oh my god. I cannot help you with that. That's, that's, I know, but I can't help myself either, really. I don't know if this is the right choice, but I think this is what I'm going to go with. I'll put a Runic Armasar into my hand. And that will be my turn. At the end of the turn, uh, I'll activate uh, Scroll Rack. Uh, three cards into the Scroll Rack. Untap up Keep Draw. I'm going to try and play Unwinding Clock. Um, paying for stability. I'll move to combat. <laughs> I'll attack Snack with a 3 3. Okay, three. Uh, <laughs> I'll pass it to him. Untap. Untap. Upkeep. We'll, we'll do the Silver and Library thing. Get three. Yeah, I'm just going to take eight because. Yeah, Silver and Play a Winsup Teeth tapped. You all take your damage. He's going to kill us in 36 rounds. I mean, if I could cast my commander, I'd kill you a lot faster. Um, we're gonna tap for four, losing two for a guardian project. Ooh, nice. Are you paying for my rustic? You can draw. Then I'm gonna pay two for a goblin and archomancer. Uh, it's three for the archomancer. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'll you sack my thing. Oh, such a cool card. Uh, when they printed it, I was like, yes, this goes in. Yeah. And then I pulled one of the retro borderless or retro border ones, so I was like, yeah, cool. It's yeah. going in. Yes, I get a risk pick. Yeah, I can't pay. Right. Make it sure. Uh, I was actually trying to keep that mana up, but I forgot about the stupid Trinister. 
I hate that card. I like, even though I play so many Sax X, I don't run it in a single Sax X because I, I hate how it affects the way I play as like a player. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I would, I would draw from Guardian Project. Go ahead. Gonna Serum Visions, draw a card and cry two. Man, it feels bad to waste these. There's my answer. I'm gonna leave both of these on top. I pay a blue for a careful study. That's gonna be three mana. Um, you're correct. Hold on. So I had to have paid three for the yeah. first one, and you tapped your crown for the other one. I know. Three for the careful study because I I have to do this. Okay. Now I two. I'm going to discard an echo of eons and a. Oh. No, that's a soul. That feels super bad. I'm gonna play a tapped ancient tomb. That's all I got. Turn, we'll do the same trick, and then I'll untap with the winding. Oh, that's the one where like it dies and you get all those thopters or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Castle of Gear and Break for the land return. Thanks for the Rhystic study for a runic chromosaur. Yeah, I'm going to respond to that on the stack. Yeah, I'm going to tap really good with that hanger. My yeah. hanger back walker in response with it on the stack. Yeah, it's my... Everybody except for Snack has creatures. Feels just kind of bad to hit him, though. I don't think you should ever feel bad. <laughs> Crush them. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him where it hurts, though, and I'm gonna send a prowling server card, a cat, after him. He, he's a four three. Alright, you go ahead, Cryptic. Uh, I'm gonna activate this scroll back, floating a colorless. Off of solving, putting two back. I'm gonna pay for study. I'm gonna cast static up. Okay, um, move to combat. Uh, swing this 6-6 six, six at snack. Yeah. Oh. It'll be sometimes, so I don't like these low creature decks. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the turn this lane. Tap um, Sylvan Library. At least I can control my death this time. So I guess <laughs> I guess that. Now let me see if I actually want to keep these. Yeah, it's still worth keeping them all. It's fine. That's this. This is hilarious to me because of all the times that I've played stack decks and everybody's groaning and moaning, and I'm like, dude, it's not even that bad. Because I don't play the Even orbs. I, yeah. I don't play any of the orbs. Because I hate <laughs> them. And they feel bad. Uh, so landfall. You all lose one. Oh no. Uh, crack the heath. I'll go get another basic. You will all lose one. And then I will tap this and the basic I'm going to get for this destiny spinner. Ooh. Spicy. Can you pay one more for that? God damn it. Yeah. I got it. And you're not paying for the risk then. Can't. It's, reduced by, it's reduced by one, isn't it, from the... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put uh, you, you, can, you, can, you can draw. All of my death decks. You can draw. Even the non-white ones. I'm, I'm gonna trigger a Guardian Project and get a draw as well after I shuffle here. I need to swing at them, but they have big blockers. I'm gonna swing uh, three at you, Snack. I you're the one that help you. Fine. I, I'm drawing you cards. No, you're drawing me cards. I can't complain. <laughs> that was fair. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yep. I'm gonna do this. Yep, and I'm gonna okay. draw a card. Oh, I get to draw cards then. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll help. I'll help the left hand side of the screen. Oh, right. It's my two permanents. Draw a card. I'm gonna cast Chain of Vapor and target Time Stranith, assuming she's gonna target Cryptic Stranith. So that is. Chain of Vapor on the stack, targeting Time Strata Magic Strain. Okay. Would you like to copy? Yeah, I'll, I'll recast, I'll target his Dranus. No, you have to I, sacrifice I, a I, land. You sack a land. Goodbye, Forest. Oh, because I, I can now choose to copy Chain of Vapor if I wish to. Yes, you so. can. My board is all good. You don't need to worry about it. I won't copy it. That is my turn. Uh, untap. I can only untap two things. Let's see if Yasharn changes anything on this board. For Yasharn? That was oh, a huge my. shocker there. You paying for the Rhystic? I kind of have to, because I can't cast anything for two anyways with the Trinisphere, so... 
Ooh, that's a pretty forest. Those two will go to my hand. I'll pass to Cryptic. Uh, you can draw a card once you're done shuffling. And then I'm going to use the floating to activate scroll rack. Ah, Four. Okay. Three. I'll draw for turn. Pay five. Uh, can't pay for Rhystic. Cast Alibu. Yeah, I'm going to attack uh, time with the 9 9 Mecha Godzilla trigger Alibu. Um, do one, two, four to Yashan Scry for uh, n- it's nine coming in at the moment and then I'll pass to Islain Sylvan Library I'm just going to take the one Mountain is land for turn, you all take a damage yeah, I'm still going to do it uh, Jeweled Lotus Tapping Birds and Tomb pay for it not paying for the Rhystic. Not paying for Rhystic. Because I have to somehow get to mana over the course of however many fucking turns it's going to take and still not do anything. I can't really afford to attack because there's power on the board. I need blockers. I will pass. Two untaps. Skirt my land. Slide for turn. To attempt to cast a 2D imaginary friend. I'm gonna cast this Tezzeret's Hand Pit, and I'm gonna draw to them Plurif of that Proliferate. So I will have three, because I drew two, then I proliferated. So when that blows up, I at least get to draw three cards. I pass. So I'm paying three uh, for an Aura of Silence. I wanna get rid of that stupid That's deep. Neck deep. Neck. And I will draw a card. I, either way, I was passing my turn. I just. Looking around, seeing what I wanted. At the end of your turn, I'm going to scroll back again. Three cards. Turn. I'm going to pay four. I'm not paying for the study because I can't. I'm going to cast Rebek, Architect of Ascension. I'm going to have a response to that for sure. Sure. Yep. Now, I think I'm going to I'm going to sacrifice Aura of Silence, and I'm going to get rid of Elabu. That yeah. is the appropriate play for me. Any more than that, and it's not really beneficial to me. That's fair. I'll then play this Prismatic Vista tapped because of Thalia and pass the turn. So I've untapped two things uh, Sylvan Library. I'm just going to take one. <laughs> Sack, Jeweled Lotus, add two more, uh, take two damage. And because of this, one less. And are you paying for the rustic? You can draw. Sorry, I get a draw off of Guardian Project, but I already know what it is. I will pass there. Oh, I forgot to take up two thief for the card after this lane. And my draw is now. So like, I, I don't see a way out. And my life, my life is so low that all I can do is continue hurting myself, chuck in this breeding pool. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've been doing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I went from 30 something to 16 off. I, I've not gotten hit. It's all been Sylvan a and both of these Lance. Paying a three. <laughs> that would have been fitting. To roughly yeah. flicker, toothy, and I think I have to this moth amber. Toothy's re enter. I'm going to draw seven. I have to leave up interaction, I think. So I'm going to go to discard on that. Okay, discarding Winslow Teeth, Treasure Cruise, Preordain, Moth Diamond, Flood and Strand, and Nauseous Rival, Man of All, Grimano with Spell Pierce. I pass. Tap two lands. Draw. Just the Draneth to keep him off of Alibu. You paying the Ristic? Ooh, no. Let's say land for turn. You're playing with. Pass my turn. The end of time's turn. I'll create two colors. Float one. Use the one to activate Mecha Godzilla. Time draw a card. Use the other one to activate Scroll Back. Two back. Untap Solving. Untap Godzilla. Combat. 10 10 at Snack. 
It's got oh. pro one zero one two three four. Yeah, that means it's unblockable, and you just die. You turn all attack nope, creatures. Yeah. GG. Yeah, rough. I think we're all pretty close behind because, again, it's the right yeah, stack species. I'll um pass the turn. I'll untap these two things. Never. Take one. Play Verdant comes in tapped. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I'm in the tank. I don't know if that works. To the primer. To the primer. I mean, I write this shit down for a reason because, like, there's no way I'm remembering some of these lines. <laughs> I actually think I might be able to get there. Come from behind me, let's go! Um, I'm gonna tap for two and lose two to tap my Elvish Reclaimer, and you can't- I don't have to worry about the damn Trinistor because it's an activated ability. And then I'm gonna sack this forest over here and go get a Bounce Land. Um, and this says it comes in taps, but it doesn't matter. It's a guildless commons. So I will have it bounce itself. And I've not yet played a land for turn. So, well, it ETBs, first of all, and you'll each take a damage. Then it will bounce Trigger. itself. And then I will play it as land for turn. Well, you've got Kadama Trigger, haven't you, as well? Yeah. Right. That that's that's where it is. So the Kadama Trigger goes on the sack as well. I put it back out, bounce it again. Okay, th that's why. It's because yes, I do need Tago for it to become infinite because then he triggers the uh, artifact coming in, lets me play the land again. Yeah. So yeah, that that was where I was like, yeah, I have it, but I don't have it. So I played it. Uh, it came in. You each took a damage. I yeah. used itself to put it back in my hand. Then I play it. Uh, off of Kadama's trigger, bounce itself again, so that you would take two, and then I play it as land for turn, it'll come in tapped, you take an additional. Uh, unfortunately, yes, I can't, without being able to play Togo, I can't do it. Uh, that was the step I was forgetting, I'm like, what am I forgetting? I know there's something here, but yeah, that was it. Uh, like I said, it's been a minute since I played it, I thought I was there. Not there, um, I guess, I can't really swing a 6-6 into your 10-10. Yeah, it's better to just leave up as many blockers as I can. I'll just pass there. Okay. Static orbs tapped. He has everything. Patient. Three mana for a thorn of amethyst. Crack the vista. Lose one. Um, I'll move to combat. Attack time for 10. I guess I take time. Lodestone Mirror. I will pass the turn. Sylvan. We already know what some of these are. Oh, well, that does it. Okay. Uh, crack Verdant. Get I'll a. Respond to that. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, pay three. For it, then an orange chant. Targeting is lane, can't cast spells yeah. this turn. Um, yeah, I can't. Look at a forest, you'll need to take a damage. Forest coming in, Kadama trigger. Kadama trigger off the land. I'm going to put in the Guildless Commons, you'll each take one, and then I will bounce it to hand. There are no more blue players, so I will pitch this Guttural Response and Pyroblast. I will pass the turn. Land for turn, I'll play Gaius Cradle. Turn 4 mana into 6 mana, using yep. a Gaius Cradle into my Castle Garen Break. Um, using 6 to cast um, a Walking Ballista with yep. 3 counters on it. I'll pay 3, the, the most ridiculous cost for a Worldly Tutor. It's, it's, it's four. Is it four? Yeah, because of your own oh, yeah. thorn. <laughs> four. There. Heliod. This will go on top. I'll just leave it like that. Everybody knows what's next. Um, beware my power? I don't know. Um, past turn. <laughs> End of turn. I might as well do this. Uh, I'm going to float two, use one. Or make a Godzilla, draw a card. Um, use the other one for scroll back. 
put two back, put them both like this, and then I'm going to activate Lodestone Mirror to tap the Static Orb, draw a card. Oh, thank you. That's okay. Tap Trinosphere to give this plus one plus one. Now, Trinosphere is tapped, which means that my spells at the moment do not cost three to play. So, I'm going to play a Mox Opal. Cool. You have to pay one for that. Because of Thorn. Yep. There you go. I'm then going to pay two for a Canonist. She comes in tapped. Uh, we'll send Godzilla. At time. Yeah, I know it. I'll send Lodestone at Islane and I'll send Rebeck at Islane. Um, before moving to blockers, I'll make Rebeck a artifact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have protection from six. I have a Kadama. No, oh, you do have a Kadama. Don't you? I do. I was hoping you would overlook that. Um, so, what's the thing that's coming at me? I can block it with Kadama and kill it. It's a two. It's a three three at the moment, but I can tap these to give it plus one plus one for each of the. Okay, then I will not block. But then, can you make it big enough to kill me? No. Okay, then I will not block. Yep, I will still tap the six. So it's a eight eight. Okay, I'm at five. I um, die. Oh god. Oh. All right. Are you passing there? The no. Fun. I'm then gonna cast this Stranded Magistrate. Okay. And then I will be passing. So untap. <laughs> I guess we'll do Ancient Tomb and this. Uh, yeah, I can do two lands. Um, two lands. Uh. Sylvan Library, obviously not going to kill myself, but I'll take that one. That can go there. Cloudstone? Oh. Cloudstone was the missing piece for the Guildless Commons. That will uh, do a loop, uh, which I can pull up on my thing. Which I have that one That one written down pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, there's a loop with Sun Scorched Desert, but because uh, I have the, the Geopede, it doesn't matter. So with Kadama and Cloudstone on the field, I play my Guildless Commons, which isn't the desert, but still works. Mm -hmm. um, tr it, this triggers itself, it triggers Kadama, and it triggers Cloudstone, and you can order it to where uh, Kadama happens first, puts it back down, um, it can still bounce itself. Basically, I have infinite bounces because there's three things that are all going to bounce the same thing. Uh, generally, with the desert, it's it's so you play the, the desert, it triggers both. You order it so Kadama happens first. Kadama happens, then you play out the, the Karu. But in this case, I can just use any other land because of Kirio. It doesn't matter. Um, so we'll pretend that you know, any one of these is my desert, but it's not my desert, but it still has the same result. Playing this out, uh, it bounces, um, and then Kadama trigger happens, we put this back out to bounce the other land, uh, Cloudstone is triggering, so it basically, they, they bounce each other from the two of them, and you stack it to where they bounce each other, and then you just infinitely bounce until you're dead. Got that come from behind victory, man. Well, that was a stacked out game from hell, but we managed to get there at the very end. Honestly, that game could have gone a bunch of different ways, but this is how it ended up. I'm happy with showing off what some of these decks could do, and we'll get another game on the Patreon soon because it showed off more of the other lists. Good games to all. Big thank you to my guests this week, and don't forget to check out the Fringe EDH subreddit, which I will link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.